feel so rested. Usually when the alarm wakes me up for work, I feel completely... Alarm! Crap! Why are you on the mat? Because you need that socket to charge your heart skimmer, Emmy. Because you forgot to charge your battery packs the day before, Emmy. I know I'm gonna be late and get fired in that order. Hacking a company like Kotec is certifiably insane. But it's for a lot of money. But I'm gonna get caught and thrown in jail. But it's a lot of money. Uh, I need to go. Do we have everything? Doesn't matter. I need to go before I miss my... Uh, thank you, Magnetrain, for being slightly late today and for being my only 15 minutes of peace each morning and evening. Sorry. Sorry. Coming through. Very late. Whew. I can't believe I made it on time. With one minute to spare. Wait, am I wearing socks? This work is so... Dull. If only I could show Kotek my real capabilities. Well, <laughs> guess they'll see them soon enough. Need coffee, or energy drinks, or defibrillator. Eight o'clock already? Wow, time flies. All right, Emmy, don't screw this up. young, maybe five or six, back in that junk of an apartment complex with my mom. It's where I learned how to code, and build hardware, and, nah, not much else in life. But that night? Whoa! The hell is that? Are you an alien? I mean, you, I'm probably the alien. We're, we're, we're all aliens, uh, you know what I mean. 
I showed him my toys, my gear, whatever I had lying around. And he showed me things I didn't understand from his world. Objects made of light, which seem pretty familiar now. And then he gave me you, my Yar. I always thought you were a birthmark, always said you were a tattoo, but you were living inside me ever since that night, waiting for today. And as soon as he gave you to me, he left. everybody. They were all here earlier. Couldn't get them out of my ear. Eh, whatever. Emmy sleep time now. No distractions, please. Energy at 1%. Must recharge. Miss Kimura. Hello. It's Mrs. Davidson. I apologize for calling you at this hour. You again! I nearly got killed because of you! Multiple times, in fact. Today's events were regrettable, Miss Kimura. Especially in light of certain... truths... that have come to light regarding our CEO, Philip Ong. Yeah, no duh, Ong's a horrible person. That's why I had no issue frying your data. And even less reservations, now that he's, what, experimenting on people? Kidnapping aliens? Stop me when my actions are justified. Indeed. In spite of all that, I need you to return to Kotek in order to prevent Ong from realizing his plans. Well, that's not gonna happen. I just spent all night escaping there and trying not to get killed. Any other insane requests? I saw you battle that creature underneath our offices. You might be the only one capable of stopping him. 
Nice try. I'm staying right here till my friends come back. Then we're getting the hell out of this city. I see. And where are your friends right now? In the midst of this citywide alien invasion. They're out, apparently. Probably grabbing some food. Hopefully enough for me too, because I am very hungry. Your friends are part of this now, Emmy. And the only way to help them is to stop Ong. You don't know that. I mailed you a pair of electronic tokens. Specifically, one E token and one T token. You can use them to get inside the aqueduct, which will grant you access to the executive suites. Ong should be there. I see two open packages, but no tokens. Then perhaps your friends got to them first. I'm sending your Navi a beacon of the token's current locations. Find them, and you may find your friends. Good luck, Emmy. Ugh, seriously? I can't just have one hour to mentally recharge before getting roped into saving the galaxy? This is ridiculous! Precision and patience yield the finest results. If you say so. It's kind of unfair to keep flying where I can't hit you. By design, I have no interest in fighting fair. I enjoy smiting with style. are the most advanced munitions ever conceived! Their firepower dwarfs that of the centuries prior. Oh, they're cute! been a pain to track down. What did you do? Sorry, Emmy. It's been fun running tech scams with you, but I need to secure my place in the new Kotile Empire. You know, big picture goals. I trusted you, Mal! And I've always told you to trust no one! <laughs> but it's not too late to join us, Emmy. 
I could use an assistant. I take it that's a no. Bummer. How did you... You think you're the only one with friends in far places? I've been working with the Kotile from the start. Our entire mission, your mission, was just an excuse to coax your dead little fly friend there out of hiding. Mission accomplished. My name's Emmy. I'm a human. Emmy Kimura, actually. Oh, hello, human Emmy Kimura, actually. Uh, just Emmy is fine. Thank you for coming to save us in our time of need. Oh, uh, is, is that what I'm doing here? <laughs> uh, fair warning, I'm still pretty new at this stuff. Our people are doomed. The Yars have been under attack by another oppressive species, the Kotile, for eons. But recently, they have begun working with a human to bridge our galaxy with yours as a means to embolden the Kotile in exchange for knowledge of their technology. Mm, sorry, that's probably my former boss, Philip Ong. He's a madman. I got fired today. That's not why. He's a madman, though. It's all the other stuff. Please, continue. Our only defense against the Kotile, the Solon Cannon, is rendered useless because they have taken our four strongest warriors, each entrusted with a unique command code, all four required together to launch the cannon. Maybe I can help you find them. What do they look like? Wait, they, they probably look like you. Okay, where did you last see them? They were taken back to your galaxy, imprisoned and tested upon, tortured. Hey, I've seen those guys. Sorry, uh, they were in glass tubes. I know where to find them. Then please go and do so, Emmy the Human. Only with them returned can we fight back against the Kotile. Well, uh, I would, but it's pretty deadly back there, even with all my cool bug powers. Thanks for those, by the way. That, Emmy the Human, is actually 
certainly something we may be able to assist with. <laughs> no, really, you can leave off the human part. Try this on. Whoa! I feel like really powerful. What is this thing? It is the armor of our savior, of you, Emmy the Human. Now, travel back through the portal and use it to break through the barrier and rescue our allies. You got it, mister. It's okay, I'll get your name later. Find the four yard warriors, bring them back, power up the cannon, I'm on it. Yes. Do you require something? I'm here to stop you and save humanity. Was was that not evident? I'm I'm still pretty new at this hero thing. Hero. Has any term been so intermittently misattributed? You're asking me? Legitimate heroes endeavor change beyond what satiates their mortal. Ish, someone needs friends. I have no friends, just as I have no enemies. Well, I'm the latter, just so there's no confusion. There was not. Now- You need to stop, Ong! The Kotile are going to betray you as soon as you reopen the portal. <laughs> Did you hear that from your insectile acquaintances? I have an arrangement with the Kotile. My father's legacy will be realized, no matter how many dead humans, or aliens, or hackers it requires. Our story will be written in bites and blood. All right, boss. Let's fight. He's inside my hacking interface. It shouldn't be possible. Actually, it was remarkably effortless. Perhaps you would like a... expected. strategy. 
long. There's nowhere to run. <laughs> there is always somewhere to run. And I do not believe you will follow me there in lieu of attempting to prevent the demise of billions. Billions? What did you do? The Kotile technology is an ancient one. Wait, wait, what the hell are you talking about? He is reborn, the source of all Kotec power. Our savior, the Aphalanx! Who disrupts my slumber? Uh, me? I guess? Actually, my boss, Form. You can go back to sleep if you want. Mm. I can, uh, sing you a lullaby? Oh, the Alpha Lynx has slept for eons. You should do that again. I mean, maybe just one more eon. Come on, treat yourself. No. The Arthalanx hunger. For takeout? For worlds. Oh, I was afraid of that. Somehow not dead. Oh, that guy was huge. Employee number 5783L24B. Oh, it's you. Wait, are you saying I'm not fired? This is confusing. Hubris. <laughs> it's critical you comprehend that your efforts this evening have borne exactly net zero quantifiable change. Even as we speak, Armadas of my newfound legion from across the cosmos are coalescing to bolster me in my retribution. Your tiny blue planet will be a galactic smear in the... Okay, that's great, but I'm gonna head out now. Later, boss man! No, wait, wait, I, I wasn't finished. Time to bail! Oh, still need to work on my hero landing. 
things. We can help you with that. Anthony! Ian! But mostly Anthony! How are you guys here? This was your last known location on the tracker before you vanished. Seemed like a good place to start. I'm glad you're not dead, Emmy. For real! Your boy was worried AF for you back here on Earth! And to be clear, you're my boy Kian in this scenario? You know it, Yar! What happened? Also, nice suit. Looks seriously high tech. I don't even know where to begin. I got caught up in an intergalactic battle between two alien species, the Yars and the Kotile. And it wasn't random. Apparently, I was selected as a child. That's why I had that mark on my arm. It wasn't a tattoo or a birthmark. It was their power inside of me. Hey, Bussin! Anyone see Mal BT Dub? She should get in on this celebration. Mal's gone. She betrayed us. She was working with the aliens, the, the bad ones. It's a long story. Oh, man. Not Mal! For reals, I'm seriously shook, no cap! I'm sorry, Emmy. I know you and Mal were close since, like, forever. We should get out of here now. One second. There's something I need to do first. People of Razak 3! Um, no, let me, let me start that again. Yours of Razak 3! This is Emmy, your defender from the galaxy of humans. You stood strong today, and together we defeated the Kotile, and that big floating dude, Apple and chased away an evil billionaire. But one day, they might all return. And if they do, so will I. I will defend you so long as I live, which might not be as long as your lifespans, or maybe it's longer. That's, that's probably good info to have. Regardless, I am better at shooting aliens, the, the bad ones, than I am at making hero speeches. Uh, talk soon. So, is anyone else starving? I kill for some ramen right now. Wait, no, not kill. Ramen's not worth murder. And I've had enough blasting for one day. I'm just very hungry. <laughs> Let's do it. Post-intergalactic warfare ramen sounds great. Yeah! You're paying, right, y'all? Uh, maybe instant.